from the first days of war, our people turned this venue into a shelter for refugees where we would bring them from the train station, place them here for the night or several nights and feed them, let them take shower, wash their clothes and help them to decide the next steps and would help them get to the border or to their next de destination. Most of them had no idea what to do next. We helped them to figure out. Over 600 people went through this place. Over 600 refugees we served during the 70 days of war. Today is the first day we actually don't have anyone staying at our shelter. The needs are changing and we're also adjusting. Our main focus becomes sending humanitarian aid to the front lines, to cities that are near where fighting happens or just freshly liberated towns and cities. We send medical supplies, we send food, hygiene items. If there is need, we bring refugees from there as well. All of this would have not been possible without your financial support. Even sending vans as a gift to our churches that are being used to send humanitarian aid. Thank you for sending medical supplies. Thank you for sending finances to pay for all this. And it was my honor to participate in this saving project together with you. Thank you.